hey guys. Well, we're bottling it. We're bottling it. We're packaging it up. We're shipping it out by the six pack and by the case. Oh my God. So Southampton has won the league with two matches to play. So the last episode was Fulham Barnsley. You can see the form. We had a lot of goals from Ida and Collins in these. Nice unbeaten run. But we did drop six points right here. That was huge. I actually came back for the Watford game. I recorded it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We drew that too. I recorded the Bristol City game. We were nine points up with four to play. It was conceivable that if we won that game and Crystal Palace lost, that we could clinch the league. Well, we lost that game two to one. And Prince Henry carved his open twice. We outplayed him. This was a game that we got FM'd. Let me see if I can show you the stats. Here we go. 21 to 5 shots, 12 to 3 on target, one possession. They just played better than us. Now, our average rating was a little off. Harvey White missed a penalty. And you know what that does in Football Manager. Just killed his rating, probably his confidence. But, man, we just got screwed in that game. And then, uh, I don't know if it carried over or not, but they had a player sent off just minutes into the first half, and we just couldn't do anything. Harvey White played a nine in this one, but we just could not find the net. So here is how things look. And I tell you what, let's go up to stages. There we go. So we have dropped two, four, seven points in our last three. And Crystal Palace has won four in a row. So we have a four point advantage. And of course, Southampton has been on a run. They're at 105. And they have clinched the league. The bad thing is Crystal Palace now holds the goal differential on us too if we would end up even. And our form is going to shit at the exact wrong time that we can't afford it. And I don't want to have to ride this out through the playoffs. Oh my God. MK Dons, 21st in the league. QPR, 22nd in the league. Unfortunately, that means they're both playing to avoid relegation, which means they are going to put the pedal to the metal. They will not be easy outs by any stretch. And I, I just don't want to have to go through the playoffs because you know what happened last time that we went into the playoffs. We are favorites. I actually was so desperate, I went with the home attacking tactic last time. Uh, let's see. Rawson, Swatridge, Wharton's back. What do I want to do here? Bilotti's doing okay. Stevenson. You know what? I am going to bring... I'm going to put McGinnis on. Boy, they're playing pretty even. I'm going to put Rawson on. I think I just want that more veteran presence on the back line. He's four years older. He's been the anchor of our back line. Oh, my God. Ida and Collins, they've, they've been doing it. They, they have been doing it. Uh, you guys know I only do this once or twice, you know, two or three times a year. Usually it's the first game of the season and usually right towards the end of the season. I'm going to ask for the early creativity. Oh, and we're picking up early yellow cards. We don't have get stuck in on. I don't know what. Get down, cat. <laughs> oh, there's a nice flick on header, but nobody's there. Oh, good charge by Rawson. Ida's into the middle, 
and it gets away from the keeper, and Collins kicks it out of bounds and gives away the corner. Over the top, Ida's there, into the box. He takes a touch, but Nichols pounces on the ball. That's a little unlucky. All right, poked away, Mitchell, nice job. Up the flank, into the box. There's a cross, McGinnis, and McGinnis puts it in. It's his third of the season, and he might not score a bigger goal in his career. Craig Mitchell, what a move, what a cross, and McGinnis makes me look brilliant. Um... They're composed, no pressure. Chested down on the t on the sideline there. Oh, knocked away, knocked away again. Into the box, McGinnis is there. Oh, he lays it off. Oh, brilliant layoff by McGinnis, and Ida scores. McGinnis, man of the match so far in the first 28 minutes. He has scored a goal, contributed an assist, and we have a 2-0 advantage. Um, oh, and we're already starting to lose focus. And they get one back, Alex Gilby. And I could not give the shout as we got uninterested. Set-piece goal. Well, they're composed again. Mitchell, through ball, Ida's on sides, and he beats the keeper this time. That's number 27, Mitchell, his second assist of the game, and we open that two-goal advantage again. Uh, I'm going to tell him to concentrate. They're overwhelmed, but as long as they're not losing focus, I really don't care about the rest of that. Oh, that's could we get another one? Ida! Oh, that would have been beautiful to have gotten that one before the half. All right, Crystal Palace is up 1-0, and they missed a penalty. Whew. Oh, you know what? We're going to go aggressive. Great opportunity. You two guys, please, and thank you. We're going to ask for the concentration. I'm, even if they're overwhelmed, I'm okay with that. Whoa, Superman. Nichols. Hoofs it out. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. Just kick it. Yes. That was Panic City for a moment. I could see the keeper just standing on the end of the box, edge of the box, and not doing anything with that and just getting blitzed. A nice flick on header. Collins is there, beats his man over to Ida. Oh, he drops it to McGinnis. Yes! Fourth goal of the season. He's got a brace and two assists. Oh, that has been a huge move putting him on for Stevenson. I think I'm going to feel pretty comfortable with him on the right side next year when Stevenson goes back to Liverpool. We got a long way to go. Oh my God. Oh, uh, look, we, we're up again. Damn it. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to balanced. Head it out. Good flick on header. Oh, there's a brilliant ball over the top. Collins. Takes the touch and loses it. Keeper may have gotten a finger on that just to poke it away. Uh, let's see. Mitchell is doing great. Tell you what, Rawson, I'm going to move you out to the right. Nico, we're going to bring in Bellotti. The two assists are really important, but I, yay, yay. Yeah, I want to get that yellow card off. We just cannot afford to go a man down. Cannot afford to go a man down. 
Oh, he gets it out. McGinnis, there it is. Fight for it, fight. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's praise them. All right, they're fired up there. That's good. All right, 73 minutes. We're going to ask our keeper to start. And you know what? Let's go ahead and regroup when we lose possession. That way we aren't caught wide open on a counter. Because it may come down to goals. It just might. All right, I want... If I bring McGinnis off, you guys are going to scream. But I would like him. Oh, boy, boy. Swat Ridge on the left side. Tell you what, let's do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring let's bring a yellow off. Back line. We'll do that. Concentrate. There's a header and it goes high. That's all right. Just keep focusing, boys. Nice, nice ball movement there. Up to Ida. Stay on it. Oh, he lays it through. Collins is there. Just flicked aside by the keeper. So close, so close to just putting this one away. I don't think they can score three goals in three minutes, but you just never know. Oh. All right. I believe, uh, let's see, Palace. Palace won 2 0. Oh, and we have gained promotion. No ticker tape uh, falling on the field. But we get promotion to the Premier League, I believe is what I saw. Yes. All right. Well, then we don't need to watch the last match. So let's do some tie-up here. And then we'll head into the off-season in the next episode. All right. So we celebrate promotion. Yes. We're promoted. Yes. <laughs> Best ever championship finish. Cajun leads to promotion. Unexpected promotion. Win the championship. We passed that five years ahead of schedule. Also, uh, qualifying for the championship playoffs was five years ahead of schedule. Ida, I tell you what, I he may have won man of the match there, but I'd give it to McGinnis. All right, so what's our budget? First year in the Premier League, $35.5 million with $43 million in the transfer budget. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Now, keep in mind, Leeds spent about $100 million this year, their first year. They didn't spend it unwisely, though. That's the thing. So we need to spend it wisely. All right. So we are on 11 million, almost 12 million. The thing is, I'm not going to be able to just get stupid because we still are in a 12 uh, 10,500 seat stadium. I wonder if the board is going to do I wonder if the board is going to do another expansion. Uh, let's take a look at the club vision. So culture, they are very happy. I've got an A+. Plus. Uh, finances are going well. We have passed everything for this season. We've already passed the playoffs for next season and winning promotion the following season. So it'll be interesting to see what they do here. Uh, we are waiting for the training facilities and the youth facilities to finish up. Uh, oh, by the way, youth intake this year was crap. I didn't sign anybody, not a single person. Uh, these were the top guys. Sahin Berber, center back, 6'2". I mean, you know, three-star, I suppose I could sign him. But we've really got to improve that. 
we've really got to improve that. So that's a great budget, I think. But now we're gonna we're gonna have to upgrade the club for next year. So from a dynamic standpoint, McGinley, Rawson, and Collins. I've really never paid attention to this particularly because, you know, if I get an upgrade, I take it. But I have in my solo save, I found I got rid of all of my team leaders. And so like the highest person was an influential player. So uh, social groups are there. Oh, that's the guy that came in mid-season. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the squad. And we want to uh, hide expiring contracts, right? And we'll keep the U23. So we've got Collins up top, Mitchell, Diacati, Lowry, who's that's a newer guy that we oh he's joining us at the end of the season fair enough all right so that's a new guy that we signed that you guys didn't know about uh <laughs> so we'll have him morell and mcginnis now mcginnis can play on that right side and i like him over there he is a natural viera diacati so we'd be, probably be looking at Lowry in the central mid, Wharton, Swatridge, Bilotti, Ross, and McGinley, and Palmer Clark in goal. I wonder if Clark's going to challenge for that starting job next year. He might. He might. Because he is much younger, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, if we go down to two stars, Potsma comes back. We've got Lindsay on the back line there for our fourth guy. Forrest Meyer, new guy. Sykes. I really need I, I really need a right back. McGinnis, I probably need a right winger. And that puts Stewart into our starting lineup. Probably look, I mean, he's got some good upside, and he's only 21. He really needs to start playing, but yeah, I think I look at getting rid of Vidal, O'Dane Henry, Oscar, sign a new striker. Now, if I do get rid of, I have Vitasevich over here. Yeah, I think I think we can get rid of Vidal. I definitely need a right midfielder. I think central mid were okay, and I need a right back. And I could probably stand an upgrade over Wharton at left back. Am I confident in Wharton? Not Wharton. Palmer or Clark coming into the Premier League. I mean, he's only valued at 550. Decent player for most championship sides. I think I've got an I think I've got an upgrade keeper. So keeper, right back right mid, and a striker. So we need to revamp our right side. And then uh, one, two, three, four. So that's four positions. Ten million apiece. Probably not going to get much of a striker with that, but we'll see. All right, well, I've got to get busy. Uh, I am going to go ahead and finish out the season so I will come back uh, with the transfer special next episode. Uh, I will try to catch the beginning of the off season where we show the kit sales and sponsorships and team awards. We'll go through those, and uh, and then we'll jump in, you know, into the player transfers. I think I did that last season. So if there's anything particular you guys would like to see. Uh, in those transfer specials, let me know in the comments and I'll try to add them in um, because I want you guys to see all the data you want to see. But both of our strikers end up on 27 goals. Uh, so let's see, just to double check. Oh, that's not going to be the way. So Talbro's going to depart. Kiko's going to depart. And I'm okay with that. 
Eboo Adams is going to depart with his $455,000 salary, and I'm definitely okay with that. Even though he was a good player for us, we've outgrown him. Uh, Roger Stevenson, Nico Williams, Harvey White, Adam Ida, all heading back to their clubs, and all very much appreciated for what they did. Let's take a quick look, just because history. So three years on loan. 42 goals. Can't ask for much more than that, right? I wouldn't mind bringing him back. You know, he does 16th in the Premier League. All right, so they're not going to go down. wonder why I couldn't sign him. Let's, uh... I can't even make an inquiry on him. No. Oh, he's joining Cincinnati. What? Why would you do that? Is that the MLS? That's the MLS, isn't it? Oh, that's horrible. You could be playing in the Premier League next year, buddy. All right, Harvey White. Oh, he's joining Cincinnati too? What the hell? Five years on loan. 35 goals, 35 assists, 23 players of the match, player of the match. Nico Williams, they've got him signed through 2027. I'll make an inquiry about him. But he played well, three years on loan, six goals, 22 assists, six player of the match. He, he did a job for us in the, in the championship. And then uh, Roger Stevenson, this was his lone year. Six goals, five assists. And they've got him tied up until 2028. Really, I don't know, man. I, I wasn't, wasn't super happy with him. I mean, he played well, but... It just always seemed, I think that's what it is, 69% pass completion. <laughs> I think that's what it is. We're going to the Premier League, boys, so we'll have at least one season there. Uh, so let me get into the off season, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. So, uh, you know, raise, it, raise a glass to the boys here, and... Uh, I may be busy this off season. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.